Okay, we are currently in our bathroom and this is what we're focusing on at the moment because we have to get it hopefully finished before March because I'm anticipating a nice labour <laughs> session in the bathtub. So today we're going to be using the bowel work paint, which I have started doing already. You can't really notice too much um, on camera anyway, but in reality, our like primer paint color is a warm white, sorry, like a neutral white. And this bowel work color we picked is called Tranquil, and it's basically like a soft, um, like earthy, neutral tone. Basically just provides texture and depth to the wall while making it like soft and matte, which actually makes a huge difference when you act, when you come in and look at the um when you come in and look at the textures. So we can get painted. Is a lime wash, so it has like you can like physically see the pigments um, and also the lime in it. So. And you can see all these particles have to be stirred together. I'm thinking for now anyway, I don't want to put the paint on the corners, just because I don't want to do the whole roof as well at the moment. Ideally I do want to do it, but we just want to wait a little bit. Oh. Reach that, so I'm gonna do these walls instead because I have to anyway. I have to get it all done. This cloth is to just wipe up any excess paint that falls, which happens a lot. Um, I haven't put a top or anything down just because I don't have one and I just want to get started, <laughs> so that's the reasoning for that. But ideally. You would protect your surfaces and put a top down, not be so careless. But not happening today. So I'm just getting straight into it. Because this is tile as well, I'm just gonna wipe over it after I paint um, instead of taping it all up because again I just just want to get started painting. Oh yeah, so if you prime it, um, the paint stretches along the way, and if you don't prime it, you won't get as much use out of your paint. So, yeah, I recommend a good, good primer. I don't know exactly what we used. I know Christian just primed everything, like all the walls. And Balak have really good demonstrations uh, on YouTube of how to apply the paint. Which I would recommend watching if you're going to get this for your own home. Basically you paint in like little cloud sections um, and spread the paint out and then kind of join each cloud together so it merges effortlessly. And the cool thing about it too is that you paint in layers. So like the first layer is quite um, transparent once it dries and each time you do the layers you can kind of gauge what finish you like so if you like quite a blotchy finish you can only do one to two layers or if you like it blended um, the third layer does that really nicely I think with what I'm doing I'm gonna keep it at actually I've done two now and it's still a little bit streaky so I might even do a third just to really blend it all but again like just comes down to time these days <laughs> I like to have as much time as I can with Alaska like really dedicated to spending like time with playtime with him so I don't have all the time especially to do things like this which of course he, want, he would want to get involved in and like touch and do it as well so Try and get onto it while he's napping. Oh, I did a layer there too. So that'll be cool to go over it and see how the color turns out.
streaky like the bristles are just blending everything together but then it still has like the depth within the opacity of it I'm really happy I'm like in love with this color I think we're gonna do the whole bedroom this color as well anyone else is like this but I get really sold on the names of colors like when I'm shopping um, especially online because you can't physically see the product but when it's described as a really nice color I just want to get it and like I don't mind little bits of lime um, that aren't smoothed out completely just because it adds like 3d texture um, on top of the 3D texture that's already there. I guess that's the whole point of having like a natural paint like this to bring that in. Oops. This is our makeshift coffee station <laughs> right now. We have um, a kitchen being designed, but I'm currently using this. This is my favorite drink to make. Literally just get these mint lint balls. So I really like Starbucks um, peppermint muckers, but we obviously don't have a Starbucks close by because we're really good. The sticks. So I make them myself and I would say they're almost better. At the moment I have like a Christmas blend in. <laughs> so this kind of just melts into the drink. Um, and it's so good. I don't need to add milk to it. So you can see there's actually, well, I don't know if you can see so clearly on the camera, but there was a layer here before that I did like months ago. And I'm just kind of blending the second layer in over it now. And this takes me back to school and how therapeutic I felt when I was in art class. Like, painting is so needed. <laughs> well, just to do like repetitive tasks like this in life, it's just so necessary. Be so careful. Bench. It's so crazy as well when your stomach gets bigger, like, and you start to completely like not understand your own balance. That started happening with me. I just like am all over the place in terms of, and I know that it sounds really dangerous to me, like describing that while I'm standing up here. Um, but it feels pretty sturdy now, but yeah, it's definitely a crazy thing in pregnancy when, we, when the baby really starts putting on weight, um, and your body quickly changes, like, 
in your balance and you just don't know like what's, <laughs> what's too heavy for your own body. Okay guys, while I'm painting, I thought I'd give you a little tour of the bathroom, <laughs> the renovation anyway. So earlier this year, we were so blessed to have Christian's parents be able to fly out and come and meet their grandson, but also help out with um, like laying all the tiles and fitting the plumbing and basically putting the whole bathroom together. So I'm really grateful for Christian's dad for that. Basically some of the things we did was we got these beautiful zellish tiles and they're actually all handmade so every single one of them has been hand fired and glazed so all the finishings kind of came out really different they were pretty expensive in comparison to like generic ones or there's a lot of handmade look tiles as well that you can get these days but i'm really happy with the overall result of these just because there's so much variation to them um in both like the coloring and also uh, the edging and the textures and everything. So yeah, it definitely has that like authentic feel that I was after. Uh, and then we went for a travertine on the floor, which again, I'm really happy with too. It's like another one of those questions of um, visual versus function. I don't know if travertine is the most functional thing um, to put inside of a house just because it has so many holes in it. But ours aren't filled and they're quite porous, so I guess in time we'll figure out what we need to do to help these. But again, the look of travertine I just love and this is a French pattern too, so it's um, pretty authentic to like the old, kind of like farm or like old cottage kind of feeling. We got these from a place called uh, The Lighting Collective. I think they're based out of Byron Bay. I'll also put um, just direct links as much as I can to everything we have. And I know a lot of people live in different countries, so it's not easy to ship like heavy items like that. But in case you're from Australia or in case you just want to look up the brand names, because I do believe these ones were made in Italy, so I think the brand is Italian. I really loved the mix of the porcelain and brass together. I'm really happy with them and they're super simple, but at the same time timeless, at the same time just like visually, um, the finishes of the light really work with the rest of the room. So, so yeah, we just added uh, these like natural colored linen curtains and they're from a company called I Love Linen and they were just a great size and height and then the weight of them was beautiful. We really needed those because the window was so giant in there and people can easily, not that we have people around, but if there was someone there, they could see in quite easily. So I'm happy with that. And I always think just a timeless natural linen looks awesome. And it's a really easy thing to match throughout the rest of the house. And we also have the brass uh, taps which were something also that I really wanted to do uh, and this one's called polish to plate I believe it just means that it comes polished but then it wears over time and the oxidization of the brass happens naturally and we have a bore water currently so the water that runs through our taps has a lot of different like iron and magnesium different minerals so our taps have aged very quickly like they've only been in here for less than a year and they already look like they're from the titanic <laughs> so but i'm really happy with that like i love that finish so this is the third coat of the paint um again like once it's just painted on it's going to look a lot darker and then it dries off but what i'm just trying to do on the edges is really feather out them as much as i can just so that there's no harsh I mean, I don't mind a bit of a harsh edge because then it shows like the texture, but, but ideally having like the feathered layering is, is probably the nicest, the nicest look uh, for this style. Yeah. So it'll be cool to see once that dries what it looks like because that really is, this one's definitely got three layers on it now.